Hi everyone, Rachel here. Today in this video, we are going to be doing a first impression slash review of the ABH and Norvina palette. This is literally so pretty. If you want to see how this palette performs, keep on watching. When you get it, this is what the package looks like. First of all, can we talk about this? It, the packaging is literally so clean. Literally, I got it because like I love the butterflies and the orange. You know, it's been like a month later since this came out, but I did want to give you guys a review and I asked you guys on Instagram also if you guys wanted to see a review. So you guys wanted to see it. If you want to see a uh, more tutorials with this one let me know in the comments down below and one more thing before we get into the look i just want to say thank you all so much for my last video my james charles casting call we're almost to 700 views it's always been a dream of mine to like get a thousand views i think we can so thank you all so much um for all the love and support it literally means so much to me this is a dream all right everyone so i just primed my eyes so now what have you all have been waiting for i took the palette out of its packaging i am shocked it's definitely a really big palette but i'm obsessed now it does have a little weight to it also and it does does feel like really like joyous like holy geez and if you guys wanted to know this is volume number three there's literally like three palettes that came out i chose this one because i think i'm gonna use this the most and i'm just obsessed every time i thought about like going to sephora i was like ooh, this palette i i've gotten so many eyeshadow palettes i'm obsessed with eyeshadow and so um this is what it looks like look at this doesn't it just look stunning this is all the colors you have your purples you have a little bit of peach your reds your yellows greens you don't really have any blues in here well actually you have one blue you have like a shimmery blue this is a really colorful palette looking at it closer like it is stunning like this screams holiday thanksgiving fall i love it i think i want to do some sort of sunset look um because i haven't done one of those in a while, although i really want to dip into like the browns too but i've already showed you guys a lot of browns so we're gonna do a sunset look today first off if we want to do the sunset look i think i'm gonna start off with e4 oh yeah another thing about these palettes is that they go a b c d and e so they don't have shade names i think i personally really like that that way all the colors are sorted and this is 60 dollars now this is expensive but i'm really drawn to the colors and as like a makeup makeup channel makeup reviewer i wanted to purchase it now you do not have to spend your money doing this i got it because these are supposed to be really pigmented although we're gonna put that to the test um but if you cannot afford this palette there are many alternatives like um including the james charles palette in which the reason i didn't use it in my casting call was because i gave it to my friend to borrow and i would have used it so um, there's many alternatives to this, but I'm obsessed. So we're gonna see if this actually works. It's supposed to be a pro pigment formula. They're high performance shades for professional grade artistry with maximum payoff. So we're gonna do that to the test. For my sunset look, I'm gonna go in with E4. I hope you guys don't mind like me talking in the video as well. Um, I am filming in my bedroom. I wanted, cause in my little space, the lighting was just off and there wasn't a lot of like space to be h so i moved into my bedroom i have my light behind me and it's really nice i just picked up a little bit and look at the brush like it is pigmented and this is um my js8 brush holy sh <gasps> okay i literally dipped a little bit some shades from palettes they do not do that look at it it's literally like full payoff wow wow i only dipped in a little bit you guys you guys saw i only did a few taps um and this is the payoff we're getting I did not set my base um so they're gonna even be more pigmented so i'm just tapping on the shade to like kind of set the base create like a transition this looks stunning like you guys look at that i'm gonna keep just building up the shade but you it, it literally is so pigmented I'm gonna do the same to the other side as well. Thank you all so much though. Like literally I was reading over my comments as you guys saw on Instagram. Like um, I was reading over comments I got on my video. I was so happy, emotional. Like this is giving me motivation. Um, and I just need to do the dang thing. I wanna keep posting on YouTube. And my dream is that I wanna grow and I have faith. And I'm not gonna give up. Even if it takes me like years. Like I can do this. 
also did you guys notice i got my eyebrows started and literally I'm, I'm so obsessed also since um she threaded the like hairs um it's really easy to get a really good blend let's dip into a2 so that we'll start with a lighter orange and we'll dip into like the darker orange so that we can build the um intensity so i'm gonna go into a2 with the, my morphe js12 brush um it's really gonna it's a smaller con more condensed brush but it's still fluffy so it's gonna blend it as well as pack on the color in e4 we didn't have a lot of particle dust and um pick up in a5 we definitely do but you do not you guys you do not need to go uh too much with um the colors like there's so much on the brush and I'm going to concentrate this under the yellow, keep it more low so that when it blends, it's going to fade nicely. Holy gosh, this is coming on um, more dark, I feel like, than in the pan, but nonetheless, it's done. Now, let's see if it blends. And if you're using a wet base, take your time. And if you have eyes like mine, mine kind of like, they have extra skin and they like kind of droop. So I kind of make sure my eyeshadow is really high. And I'm gonna go in light circular motions so that we're really blending the shade. So if you do windshield wiper magic, that really doesn't do anything. I found that really small, light circular motion. See, like it just diffuses the color. It is blending so nicely. I added just a little bit more of yellow. It's now becoming orange, which I want it to be more yellow. Nevertheless, actually, that I'm looking at it, like, if I look at it, it's never, like, it's still stunning. Like, you can see there's still that, like, nice fade. You can tell, like, it's a really pretty sunset. Looking up close, I was like, oh, I don't know. When I'm actually looking at it, it actually does look stunning. And, um... I think I'm just gonna concentrate on one eye and then I'll do the rest off camera. With my JS6 brush, I'm gonna go in and um, start to deepen it. And I'm actually, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go with the um, JS12 again into A5 so that we can transition to that red. Actually, were we using A5 the whole time? We used A5 the whole time. So we actually used A5 and I actually wanted to use A2. So I'm gonna add a little A2 in between so it blends better. Because the whole thing is you want it to transition. You don't want to be too harsh. Literally just realized that I've been using A5. But, I mean, it's been paying off really good. Like, the fact I didn't use A2 before this one. To, and Like, I didn't use a transition before this one. It's stunning. So, the light orange and the yellow will mesh together. So, next, I'm going to go in with my JS6 brush with C2. This flaming hot red. And the A5, it looks orange, but to me, it's like an orangish reddish. It has like a little bit of red in there. So let's see C2 again, super pigmented. Um, go on the brush, we will. But when they get on the eyes, they're still like pigmented, but they kind of, they smooth over. They kind of like blend away, like their initial pigment. They have an initial pigment when you place them down, but then when you blend, they kind of blend away. Yeah, see, like, I place it down, but it's kind of just blending. Which we want it to be blended, but no. I just wish the payoff stayed the same. But you can, of course, build it up as well. And I don't know if it's the base, too, but... And this is just a first impression, so I'm just tell you guys what I'm seeing. It actually does look really good. Like, I am going to be using these for, like, a long time. <laughs> I'm keeping this shade really low to create definition. Like it's the darkest shade and we want it to look like it's going from lightest to darkest. Just gonna blend it out. And I rather have blendability and it looking smooth. Like it looks stunning. I kind of take back what I said about blending away. Nevertheless, I am loving it. This is having dimension and it looks so pretty the, i don't know if the camera is doing it justice but oh my god like personally i'm going to be using this palette like 
all the time. Hopefully you guys can see this full sunset, honey. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a usual cut crease, um, but I'm gonna put the sunset colors um, in the crease. But I'm just gonna build it a little bit more for you guys. So taking more of C2, I'm just gonna build it and see what happens. This brush is really nice because it's really small, but it blends and it also packs the colors where you want it. Okay, I can really concentrate this color like right in my outer corner. I'm gonna cut the crease really quick and then we'll pack some colors on um, to make it a really cool sunset look. And what I kind of do there is that a little bit um, near my lash line and then I blink and kind of look straight. Like I'm gonna look when like I'm looking straight forward. And it gives me a guideline on how high I can do it without eyeshadow transfer when I pack it on. It's all about just mapping out how it's going to look on your eye. Once you have that beginning shape, just follow your eye. So careful. You're following your eye shape. And going around from your inner corner up and slightly curve it. And definitely take your time with this one. But I like cut creases because um, it just opens up the eye, in my opinion. And it also, you can really add dimension of, um, you know, you can open up the eye with the white um, or whatever like concealer you use. But then you can bring shadow um, above the cut crease. So it just makes everything like, just like, looks like your eye is like, popping and then I kind of bring it out here a little bit um that darkness is important for cut creases to make sure it blends good I tap from um the where I cut the cut crease and where it meets the out the darker shade because you, you're gonna pack shadow that darker shade back on the cut crease to blend it so you're just using your finger to help blend everything but look at that see it just makes everything look bigger and put together more it cleans so then i'm gonna go into a more smaller flat brush i kind of want to repeat what i did on the eye on the inner corner i'm gonna take all the shades i use so i'm gonna take e4 and i'm gonna pack that in the inner corner of the cut crease just like that i do have to kind of build it up a little bit i'm actually gonna go into a little smaller fluffy brush to see if that helps Then I'm gonna go into A2. Now this is weird. On my cut crease, it's like it's like not wanting to move around for some reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. And this is um a bigger brush. Um, this is a JS11. Um, it's just a bigger packer brush. Oh, this is stunning. There we go. I just have to keep building. I'm trying to pack it onto my lid and it doesn't want to. My base is actually kind of getting weird. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like it, my base kind of came off a little bit. Where the yellow is never happens. I'm going to take um, A5 and tap or replaced A2 on the outer side. And what I'm doing, like I always like to do, is I'm taking the darkest color I use and I'm going above my cut crease. Careful not to try to touch the line, but just going above it. It's really gonna bring even more dimension to it. And it's literally gonna look like the eye was cut. And it's... Perfect. I'm going with C2 on the very dark edge. Perfect. Then I'm going in with that yellow shade, just to reinforce the yellow. I do want some. Want to use some of the shimmers? I think with um where I put the yellow, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of um C1. I'm so excited. We're going to a shimmer. This is like a yellow golden shimmer. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. Place a little bit um on the very inner corner. 
holy so i'm tapping almost like a glittery formula it doesn't want to place on my eyelid so i'm gonna go in with my finger just a little bit so um i don't know if it's my base it could be the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer. I should try this with a MAC paint pot. Um, like it doesn't look bad at all. Just this inner corner is kind of messed up. I'll see if it does the same thing on the other side. It's probably just the base. I don't know if it's the shadows. No less, it looks really stunning. Just the shimmer doesn't want to stick. I want it to be more impact. It like doesn't want to stick. But um, we'll see if it does the same thing on the other side. I think I didn't put enough base when I cut the crease. Um, cause you want to make sure you put, put a lot of like base down um, when you got the grease and that was my fault. I am obsessed with how the mattes are performing. I'm going to try to get the shimmers to work. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm going to highlight my brow bone really quick. I'm going to dip into that same shade C1 and a little bit of D2 as well. Cause it's more of an orangey color, but I think both of them combined be pretty. And then I'm going to wet it with my Morphe and Jeffree Star Mist. Actually, I'm going to try it first packing it on right here. Looks like we're getting a little bit more payoff. Then I'm gonna take a little bit on the brow. Ooh, yes, okay. I think it's just where I cut my crease. I kind of messed it up. Look at that, guys. Oh, yes. It's going full pigment. Do I Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's lighting. Oh, yes. I love the lighting in here. Oh, my gosh. But it's literally highlighting my brow bone so nicely. So we can tell the shimmers are working. And it's a really fine shimmer. It's not too glittery. It just looks like um my brow bun has like a golden wetness to it. it. Doesn't look too glittery. It's really fine. So I think it's just my inner corners. Nonetheless, this is stunning. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. Put on a lash, do my face, and then or we'll blow up my lower lash, the lower lash line, to finish off the look. Hey y'all! I did my other eye. The, sh the inner corner shade, as you can tell, look worked way better than this side. So something went wrong. But anyways, my dog is literally shaking. We don't need to fixing the vacuum. And he's on my lap shaking, <laughs> poor thing. But anyhow, this is the look we have. I also, just for funsies, took a little bit of the shade C4 to deepen that cut, cut crease line. Just to add more drama, but it's like that purplish shade. All right, everyone, I just finished my face, so now I'm gonna do my under eye lashes. Starting with E4, A2, A5, and C2, and then a gold in the inner corner, and then we'll wrap up this video. I'm gonna alternate between my JS13 and uh, my JS6 brush. Wow. Look at that, it looked good on top, but on the bottom. I'm gonna take this shade lower because if you take it lower, it's more dramatic, but it also will enlarge the eyes as well. And I'm gonna use that same brush to go into um, A2 and A5. Stunning. I'm just blending yellow and the orange together, going beneath the orange so it all blends, and going back in with the orange. I love how that looks like under the eye. Honestly, I will just leave it like that, honestly. Honestly, that looks so cool. Let me see on camera. We want this blown out, honey. So I'm gonna go in with this flat brush, um, and I'm gonna go in with C2. Keeping it on the outer corner, really high up, so you're not just dragging that dark color, it's gonna have its own moment on the top, above everything else. We have our look, literally stunning. I didn't put any of A5, but I feel like it really kind of doesn't need it unless you wanted it to be darker. But let me throw on a lip really quick. Logan, really 
what do we think i'm literally obsessed i know this palette expensive if you find you have enough money um at any given point you know, these colors are worth it in my opinion now when i ha did the cut crease i had a little trouble packing that i think it's just maybe the concealer um but i'm gonna keep testing this is my first impression just playing around with it let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more tutorials with this today i did this like sunset fiery moment i'm like i kind of want to play with the browns but let me know if you want to see more of the anastasia and Norvina palette thank you so much for watching thank you all so so much for all your love and support if you like this video and you want to see more of me please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like